Welcome to Star Stories, a collection of the moments that connect us all to something greater than ourselves, the night sky. This is Amy C. Oliver, Visitor and Science Center Manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory and your host. Have you ever felt that the stars were waiting just for you? On a warm night over four decades ago, they did just that for then four-year-old Thomas Quayle, who slept under the night sky and had his memory forever etched by the knowing look of the stars. Here's Points of Light by Thomas Quayle. From my early school days in a high school astronomy club to later in life where I have now presented to several groups of people from around the world, I have seen many wonders of the night sky. But after all these years, none has come close to my first memory of the stars. When I was young, I would often ask my parents if I could sleep out in the backyard. I wanted so much to sleep under the stars. At the young age of four, I didn't understand the concerns a parent might have at such a request. I'll never forget the night they finally said yes. I grabbed up my blankets from my bed and set them out on the slightly uneven but soft ground of our lawn. When the day was over, I finally crawled into my makeshift sleeping bag, waiting for the sun to finish setting. With nightfall came the stars. To this day, I still have an image etched deep into my memory of that night. Above me, there were points of light everywhere. My heart and mind raced with wonder and imagination. It was as if those distant points of light knew I was there, perhaps even been waiting for that night as I had. Words continue to fail to explain what it was like to be touched by the vast, ageless expanse that night. From four years of age to now over four decades of life, I have held on to that image and cherished it. There is so much wonder and beauty that life offers. To live in a moment where both time and the timeless meet. To take a breath and the memory of that moment persist. For me, this is what it means to be connected to the stars. This is my story. Star stories bring us together because they tell us something about ourselves. They let us know that no matter what is happening in the world around us, we all have something in common. Our awe for, wonder in, and appreciation of the night sky. To submit your own star story for inclusion in this collection, send 200 to 300 words detailing your first, best, a most important interaction with the night sky to Whipple Science Center at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. And as always, keep looking up.